A turboprop that flies like a jet, sounds quieter than expected, and breaks every aviation design rule. This aircraft blends jet speed, turboprop efficiency, and radical aerodynamics to challenge everything aviation believes about performance. And here's where it gets strange immediately. The Avanti doesn't ease you in. The moment you see it, your brain hesitates. The nose feels too clean. The wings sit forward where you don't expect them. The engines aren't pulling from the front, they're pushing from behind. It looks fast standing still, like it skipped a few steps in aviation evolution. That's why the first observed reactions are almost always the same. People assume it's a small business jet. Pilots glance twice. Passengers pause before boarding. It doesn't fit the turboprop mental image most of us grew up with. No bulky stance, no agricultural vibe. This thing looks deliberate, sharp, confidence. And that's the hook. Curiosity turns into disbelief, disbelief into fascination. You start asking questions before the engines even spool. Why does it look like this? Who signed off on it? And how did it get certified? From the very first glance, the Avanti positions itself as a rule breaker, an aircraft that seems to challenge the idea that turboprops have to look, sound, or feel a certain way. But wait, this is where the confusion deepens. On paper, it's a turboprop. That single label causes most people to underestimate it instantly. In aviation culture, turboprop often means slower, louder, cheaper. Avanti quietly rejects all of that. Its cruise profile feels jet-like. Its time to destination often rivals light jets. Yet its operating philosophy is pure turboprop efficiency. Lower fuel burn, lower costs, less noise footprint. It's speed without the financial punishment that usually comes with jet ownership. That hybrid identity creates an identity crisis in the market. It doesn't sit neatly in comparison charts. Jet buyers see propellers and move on. Turboprop buyers see speed and assume cost. So the Avanti lives in this strange middle space. Too fast to be conventional, too efficient to be a jet. And that's exactly why it works. It doesn't chase labels, it chases outcomes. Faster trips, quieter cabins, and economics that make sense. Have you ever seen an aircraft misunderstood because it's too good at crossing boundaries? This isn't some experimental one-off either. Over 240 Avantis have been produced since 1986, quietly carving out a niche that refuses to disappear. In an industry where many bold designs fade after a few years, that kind of longevity matters. The aircraft has collected awards for innovation and aerodynamic design, but more importantly, it's built a cult following. Pilots talk about it differently. Engineers admire it. Owners defend it passionately. That usually only happens when something genuinely works. Now let's talk numbers because this is where jaws drop. The Avanti can cruise at up to 400 knots. That's not turboprop fast. That's category breaking fast. It immediately places itself among the quickest turboprops ever built. But here's the part most people miss. This speed doesn't come from brute force. It's not about oversized engines or excessive fuel burn. It's aerodynamics doing the heavy lifting, literally. Clean airflow, reduced drag, and smart lift distribution allow it to move efficiently through the sky. In real-world profiles, it often overlaps with light jets. Same altitudes, similar trip times. Sometimes even better door-to-door -door performance when airport access is factored in. And yet, speed alone isn't the whole story. Plenty of aircraft are fast. Few are fast without compromise. That's the Avanti's real advantage. It doesn't trade comfort, efficiency, or noise levels just to chase numbers. It arrives early and quietly. Would you pick speed if it came without the usual downsides? 
And then there's altitude. Certified to climb up to 41,000 feet, the Avanti operates where weather becomes optional. That's jet territory. Most turbulence lives below. Most storms build lower. And that's exactly what this aircraft steps over. For passengers, that means smoother rides and predictable journeys. For operators, it means reliability. Business schedules hold. Emergency missions stay on track. You're not fighting clouds, you're flying above them. That combination, altitude plus efficiency, is rare. It gives the Avanti jet-like freedom without jet-level expense. In aviation, that's not a small advantage. That's a strategic one. Here's where things get truly unconventional. The engines sit behind the cabin in a pusher configuration. That single decision changes everything. Noise first. With the propellers behind you, the cabin suddenly feels calmer. Conversations don't fight engine roar. Vibration drops. The atmosphere shifts. Traditional turboprops pull air from the front, dragging noise and turbulence straight past the fuselage. Avanti flips that script. The air meets the cabin cleanly first. The engines deal with what's left. The result is one of the quietest turboprop cabins ever built. Powering this setup are two Pratt and Whitney Canada PT6A engines, each producing around 850 horsepower. These engines are legendary for a reason. Reliable, efficient, globally supported. You can land almost anywhere and find someone who knows how to work on them. Despite the high cruise speeds, fuel efficiency remains impressive. That's the balance. Jets burn aggressively to go fast. The Avanti lets aerodynamics do the work, so the engines don't have to. Compared to jets with similar performance, fuel burn stays lower, maintenance costs stay predictable, and uptime stays high. But here's the key takeaway. Power isn't the secret weapon. Plenty of aircraft have powerful engines. The Avanti's advantage comes from how little it asks those engines to do. Efficiency isn't about strength. It's about smart design. And that philosophy runs through the entire aircraft. It's easy to obsess over cruise speed, but real travel is about the entire journey. Avanti understands that. It doesn't just fly fast, it goes where others can't. And honestly, how often does aviation focus on that part of the equation? Step inside, and expectations shift again. The cabin seats up to nine passengers, but it never feels cramped. The fuselage proportions create surprising space. Legroom is generous, seating is adjustable. You're not wedged in for the sake of capacity. The design prioritizes comfort over density. That's rare. Many aircraft chase numbers. The Avanti chases experience. It feels closer to a jet cabin than a traditional turboprop. Clean lines, open space, and a sense of calm. Passengers notice it immediately. There's room to work, talk, or just sit back without feeling boxed in. That matters on longer legs. And this ties back to the design philosophy again. Everything serves a purpose. Nothing feels accidental. The cabin isn't just functional, it's intentional. And that's why first-time passengers often ask the same question. Are you sure this is a turboprop? Comfort isn't just space, it's silence. The Avanti uses soundproofing materials throughout the cabin, but the real magic comes from engine placement. With the props behind you, noise doesn't dominate the experience. Vibration is reduced compared to nose-mounted prop aircraft. The ride feels smoother. Conversations feel natural. Work doesn't require noise-canceling armor. That quiet environment changes how the aircraft is used. Meetings happen in flight. Passengers rest properly. Stress drops. This isn't luxury for the sake of luxury. It's usable. Comfort becomes productivity. And that's why noise reduction isn't a bonus feature here. It's a core advantage. 
Would you choose speed if it came with constant noise, or would you pick balance? Now, we reach the heart of the aircraft. This is the real secret. The Avanti doesn't rely on a traditional single-wing lift system. It uses three lifting surfaces. First, the forward-mounted main wing. This generates lift earlier and more efficiently, reducing the workload on the rear. Then there's the small rear-mounted horizontal stabilizer, which isn't just there for balance. It actively contributes to lift. The fuselage itself plays a role too, shaped to support airflow rather than fight it. By spreading lift across three surfaces, drag drops significantly. The aircraft doesn't need extreme angles of attack. Stability improves, handling becomes smoother, efficiency climbs. This configuration allows higher cruise speeds and longer range without asking the engines for more power. That's the brilliance. It's not about forcing performance, it's about letting physics work naturally. But this design is hard, extremely hard. Stability calculations become complex, certification becomes painful, control harmony must be perfect. That's why so few aircraft attempt it. The Avanti didn't just attempt it, it refined it. And once you understand this system, everything else makes sense. The speed, the efficiency, the silence, it all traces back here. When you zoom out, the impact becomes clear. This lifting configuration affects every aspect of performance. Fuel efficiency improves without sacrificing speed. Noise drops as a side effect of cleaner airflow. Handling feels refined, not twitchy. The aircraft doesn't fight the air, it cooperates with it. That's why flights feel smooth. That's why cruise numbers stay high without stress. This isn't a design tweak. It's a design philosophy, one that prioritizes balance over brute force. And that's why the Avanti stands apart permanently. It didn't chase trends, it ignored them. It trusted engineering fundamentals instead. In an industry that often evolves cautiously, this aircraft took a risk and proved that risk can redefine an entire category. The Avanti proves progress doesn't always look familiar. Sometimes it looks uncomfortable at first, until it works. With radical aerodynamics and jet-level performance, this aircraft didn't just break rules, it rewrote them. So, what's your take? Drop it in the comments, hit like, and subscribe. Because if you think this was wild, what's next might surprise you even more.